Hey, that's Mike and Holly, Alex, Eddie, and Kelsey. What are we doing today? We're roller skating. We're going to a birthday party at the roller skating rink. Yay, Chelsea's first time roller skating. Hey, come back here. Are you excited? Yeah. Just a little? Just a little excited? I've them. <laughs> She's been wanting to go roller skating for a long time, huh? All right, let's, oh goodness, you're gonna make daddy fall. Let's go, let's do it. So tell me what you think of skating. I loved it. She loved it so much she didn't want to leave. Took yeah, forever. She didn't want to leave and everyone was gone and I've been like 30 minutes. Yeah, <laughs> like all of our friends are gone and we're still Chelsea still had her skates on. She did not want to stop. She had so much fun. And you did so good. At first you needed help, but then you got better and better. Hey Alex. <laughs> How did you like skating? It's pretty good. I'm not very good at it. But... You got better though. Yeah. All right. Hi. Yeah. So we decided, we found out that they have, which I think I already knew about this. They have a once a month. You have to pull the one on the inside, not the outside. This, this right here. So they have a once a month homeschool cool. meet up here. And the girls both had a really good time skating, and I did too. I like to skate too. So I was skating the whole oh, yeah. time with Chelsea. And she, by the end, she got to the point where she was really good. So she was doing really, really good. So we think we're going to come back for the homeschool skate and do that because we had such a good time. So that was a lot of fun. Yeah. And she got to figure it out. <laughs> you got better too, right? Yeah. Alex My tried. Legs I know, mine did too. Like, I finally got to the point where I said to Chelsea, I have to be done because my ankles hurt so bad. I rollerbladed. I used rollerblades in line so skates. so much more uncomfortable. Alex says they're more uncomfortable, but I don't know. I always liked inline skates. Um, my, I have a pair of regular roller skates. Mommy, I don't want to throw away this cute one because okay. it's so cute. And um, they're at my mom's house, so I was like, oh, I could get those from her. And then I want to get Chelsea some skates and have my dad make her one of those little walker things because that, those are really handy. And then I think my skates would also probably fit Alex too. So we could all practice roller skating and then come back and do the skate again. So we all had a really good time. I only fell, when we first got there, Chelsea fell like three times and landed on her booty. And 
I only fell once and the reason I fell is because I was hyper focused on helping Chelsea so she wouldn't fall that I ended up falling and I landed on my knees and there was this little kid and she's like are you okay I'm like yeah I'm fine like I was it was they had this step down to get to like the the wood flooring and I was trying to help Chelsea get from the step onto the wood and I just like tripped that's one thing I tripped. didn't like when you go in, it looks like it's flat. And from the pictures online, it looks like it's flat. Like, it looks like you just go from the carpet to the hardwood floor. As soon as we got in there, I realized that there's a step. Not just a step. And can you a imagine big step. A big step. Can you imagine being in roller skates and going down a step onto onto a different onto material a, onto surface? Onto hardwood. Yeah, yeah onto hardwood. There was actually some people jumping off. Some people well, are just really good at it, and they're yeah. no problem, but... But, like, they need to have, like, some sort of... There was no handrails or anything. Like, most places have, like, a wall or, like... And you would think having that big step down, they'd have some sort of handicap rail that you could hold on to while you step down. Yeah. There was nothing. It was just a big step down. And they had the practice area, which most people were just in there goofing off. Yeah. So, like, I would take Ch Chelsea... When I first got there, I took her into the practice area, and Alex was in the pa practice area with her friends. And there were like teenagers in there and stuff like goofing off and they were really good at skating. And it's like, really guys, you don't belong in here. But yeah, they did at least have the practice day. area. But yeah, nothing really to hold on to except for the little ramp things. Yeah. But we all had a really good I time. I held on to my friend the entire time. Alex held on to her friend. And she on. she ended up falling. It wasn't because of me, but she fell and then I was like, <laughs> and I didn't, I didn't I fall, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> you guys, we got a Bronner's catalog in the mail. Did Is that we the normally? first time we did that? I don't remember. You ordered one thing from Bronner's and we're forever on their mailing list now. Two, not this past Christmas, but the Christmas before, I ordered something from them. And so yes, I do recall now, I think last year, we got one also. So anyway, I was just going through it and I saw an ornament that actually made me laugh out loud because I thought it was- LOL. LOL. And it's just, it was one of those things that when I saw it, it just struck me as being so funny. It's this one right here that says, I love chicken nuggets. <laughs> I just Really? You're not going for the avocado? I don't know or, why. No. I love like, mac and cheese. I, saw, I saw these after. The what? bowl of mac and cheese. The bowl of mac and cheese. I love mac and coffee. cheese. I love bacon, fresh hot coffee. But like for this one to say, like, I love chicken nuggets and it's taking like a bath in the sauce, like the dipping sauce. I don't know what it is, but I just started laughing because it just struck me as funny. I don't know why. If Chelsea sees that, well, she can't read, but. Well, <laughs> no, she, <laughs> Chelsea, she can read, she but can she, read, but like she can read. She, she, want would, she would thinking. see that and like, oh, those are like, chicken nuggets. <laughs> That's a chicken nugget ornament. I guess it's funny for me because both the girls, like growing up when they were like little, always loved chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets, chicken nuggets. Every time we go out to eat chicken nuggets. Chelsea has gotten better and she's like, Burger. she loves burgers. Bur boogers. She's, burgers. Yeah, she's ventured out and she tries new things. So she's gotten better. And Alex really has too because Alex eats like burgers and different things now too. So, but like growing up, there was phases where it was like chicken nuggets was all they wanted to eat so i don't know it, it just struck me as funny i thought it was kind of like something suitable to, that would suit our kids <laughs> so while you guys were out skating i went to me chelsea went to target i think that was on wednesday got some batteries i was going to change all as you see the batteries are still in here i was going to change all the smoke detector batteries why were you going to change them while we were gone yeah so then nobody would because Chelsea freaks out when they go off. And you know what? I changed. Okay. So I started <laughs> started in Chelsea's room to change them. So I ripped the package open, take all the batteries, put it in my pocket so it's easy to grab when I get up on the ladder, pull them out, put them in, blah, blah, blah. Get in Chelsea's room. It's a nine volt battery. I'm Even... thinking, okay, well, maybe just this one room. So then I went into our room to check it. Nine volt battery. And then I'm like, uh oh. <laughs> So then I went into Alex's room because hers is just right inside the doorway, so it was easy to get to. Nine volt battery. I didn't even check the guest room because I'm assuming that's a nine volt battery. Why? So only the hallway. There's two smoke detectors in the hallway, and the one down here are the only ones that take these. So I only replaced two of them. We don't have. We have. There's one downstairs. That's it. There's one smoke detector downstairs, and you know what the kicker about it is? Hmm. 
It's right there, even though yeah, the majority the of the time fires would start in the kitchen. Well, the smoke will have... rise and then the smoke will make its way over there fairly quickly. Yeah, but as many as we have upstairs, and there's only one downstairs, that seems see bizarre. Else. I was going along with the story and I forget. Oh, sorry. Well, I don't oh, that, all the ones in the bedrooms so, were nine volt. All the ones upstairs except for the hallway are nine volt. Yeah, well, there's two, three in the hallway. There's one down by Alex's room. There's one right above the stairs that's hanging over the stairs. I'm not touching. Fireman needs to come over and do that. <laughs> and then there's one in our little cove in front of our room. I changed that one. Oh, okay. So the one down the hall that was giving us the problem the other day, I changed that. And the one in front of our room got changed. That's it. I didn't need to even use these. So, well, but it's always good and to have I extra batteries. And I didn't have to do any resets or anything, so it didn't make any noise It didn't whatsoever. make any noise? I, it's like I pulled, put in, pulled, pulled, it, put in. So it probably the didn't other... give it a chance to. Oh, because the other day. It wouldn't stop singing low battery. Yeah, it wouldn't stop going so. off and resetting itself, and Chelsea was like flipping out. <laughs> so so I really, I accomplished nothing today with these. With the batteries. Yeah. <laughs>